luckily our lions are still with us, not that they're going to go anywhere. And James is absolutely right, we're going to spend as much time as we possibly can, particularly in this spot. And the reason that I say that is we are right up close to the boundary of Elephant Plains and Simbambili. And to the west of us lies probably the largest hyena clan in this area. It is apparently an absolutely massive clan. We call it the Elephant Plains Hyena Clan. And it consists of at least, according to the other guides who see them, at least 40 hyenas. Now that's enough hyenas, and they've been known to do this before, to chase off these females, particularly if there aren't any males in this area. And if, if there were a male lion around, he would be right here on top of the carcass. Look at that dirty face. Look at you. Your scruffy face. You need a wet wipe. Now Taylor, you were wondering about hyenas stealing the kill and whether hyenas or wild dogs could do so. Hyenas, yes, potentially, if you have a good balance of numbers, particularly since these lionesses have cubs, so they're likely to be relatively safe, safer rather than sorry in terms of protecting their carcass and the cubs. So if hyenas came in and mobbed them, and I would guess that the number of around about 20 to 30 hyenas would have to gather together to chase these lionesses. There are five of them to protect this carcass, and it, that should be enough to stave off the hyenas, but it is possible if they gather together and work together as a clan, which of course is what they're very good at. Wild dogs? Absolutely not. A wild dog is afraid of lions. A wild dog falls well below them in the predator hierarchy, just in terms of sheer weight. And we've seen it before, the Styx lioness that killed one of the wild dogs in, during Brent sighting. They, all predators will kill other predators if they can. That's just the natural way of things, to reduce competition. But unfortunately, in that case, the wild dogs weren't fast enough to get away. If the wild dogs were to come running through here and they saw these lions, they would turn around and run immediately in the opposite direction, with the lionesses potentially chasing them as well. And lionesses, they go full tilt when there's a wild dog pack around. If they don't half-heartedly chase them away, they really, really go for it. As we saw with that Styx lioness, even after she'd killed the one wild dog, she went for the rest of the pack with serious intent. So no, wild dogs, absolutely not. Hyenas, possibly. Beautiful sighting. Uh, it's just Jarman and myself on lock. I think you can make your way in. Now, oh, Steve, you want to know when the vultures will arrive. Steve, I think that's what you said anyway. I had two voices in my ear. Steve, they are already here. It doesn't take a vulture very long to find a buffalo carcass like this. So if we have a look, Senzo, if we have a look over there, there's the first of the whiteback vultures gathering. It's in that dead tree up over there. Can you see it there? Yeah. It's just over there. Yeah, there's the white-backed vulture. Here we go. Awesome. So there's the first of the white-backed vultures. More and more of them will gather. And that's, of course, the way in which vultures work. They've got phenomenal eyesight. The first few will spot the lions on the carcass whilst they're soaring around and thermaling. And then the rest will gather as the day heats up because, of course, the vultures need the rising warm air currents to really properly go off in search of food. But once the day starts to get warmer, they'll start to thermal. They'll see the other vultures and come and have a look at what they're looking at and so on and so forth. So the process will just continue to repeat itself until the point that we've got, we'll probably end up with about 20 vultures or so here, possibly even more. So do, there you go, Steve. The vultures have arrived. Just one for now. I did see some others not too long ago, but it's just the one here for now. Lions are really, truly enjoying their meal. They were obviously quite hungry. Mm -hmm. 
Now, Tracy, you want to know, because of course there's a bit of aggression happening here, you want to know if cubs have ever been killed whilst feasting on a kill. There are one or two recorded cases of it happening. It's very, very unusual. And it's usually something that doesn't happen because of the, the adult females or the adult males. Because the adult males, of course, are far more tolerant of their cubs than they are of the lionesses. Because the cubs are theirs. Or as far as they know, the cubs are theirs. Look at your bloody face. Oh, quick nap in between feeding. Huh. Maybe it's weird, but I find that very sweet. That it's passed out on the buffalo. Usually when cubs get killed, it's when they're quite young and they've overstepped their mark in terms of pushing in to feed off the carcass and it's usually sub-adults or younger lions that could actually turn around them and kill them or even actually older cubs if there's quite a big age gap between the cubs the, the older cubs don't quite have control or realize their own strength or the, the fragility of younger cubs and they could potentially kill them. It's one of the reasons why lionesses don't really introduce their young cubs to the pride until they're about six or so weeks old, just because they need some time to be... Oh, I wish I wish my camera battery was not flat. I would so love a picture of that. You'll have to take screenshots for me. Let's see how vicious it can get. It's unusual for a cub to die in this process. Sometimes what happens is a whack with a paw, and remember that these lions have paws the size of a man's hand, with a great deal strength of strength behind them. So sometimes a whack with a foot or a paw could actually cause an injury that could then result in death if that cub doesn't heal quickly, if it's not able to keep up with the rest of the pride. But it's very unusual for that to occur. We're going to enjoy our time spent with the Inkuhumas and appreciate the fact, since we are downwind, that this particular carcass is quite fresh. The lions have been lucky in their hunting attempts. Let's go and find out whether the same could be said of Shungile.